any one of them shoulder pads that you can take okay. that you want. Okay. Take this dog too. I had read in a paper where Joy was going to start that program up. And I had some three X, four X, five extra large shoulder pads. You don't need many shoulder pads that big, but every once in a while you get that guy coming along, this big old guy, and nobody's got any. You can see my barn, I needed some space. That, most of that stuff's my wife's. Let Did me you? show you a prospect for you. Okay. And he wants to play football so bad. He's 6'5 and weighs 270. Joe's a good coach. It's just in his blood. He'll coach the late eyes. So many people I know at my age are getting to something else that's not quite as time consuming. And I've done just the opposite. I've never learned so much in one year in my life. Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here with us today. As you all know, Texas Wesleyan University has a very long tradition in athletics. Our table tennis team won the South Regional Competition and will go on to compete for their 12th National Table Tennis Championship. And now football is our next step. So I'll now turn it over to our athletic director, Steve Tratcher, who will announce our new head coach. Our coach has been a head high school coach for 27 years. He has won seven state championships at Nolan Catholic High School in his 24-year tenure there, and I'm awfully proud to introduce to you Coach Joe Perdomo. This university was on the verge of insolvency. We needed to energize our admissions process. One of the things that I wanted to start was football. You know why they stopped playing football? Their team disbanded to go fight in World War II. After a 75-year hiatus, the Rams are back, and they've got one heck of a coach at the helm. I don't know if there's another coach in Texas that is as well respected as Coach Perdomo. In my opinion, he is the Bill Belichick of, of high school football because the dude just wins. If you're a coach like Coach Perdomo that had a lot of success, what he's tasked to do is truly one of the hardest jobs in coaching because you have nothing to start with. There's not even a football. There's not even a pair of cleats. There's nothing. The biggest challenge to taking a Texas Wesleyan job was to bring in a class of 75 in about two and a half months. Hi. Hi. Joe Perdom. Very nice to meet you. What you're selling here right now is a chance to play. We're going to go see uh, Khalil Corbett Canada. He's a uh, big left tackle. Khalil, how are you, man? Good to see you. You doing all right? Texas Wesleyan, in a way, is making this up as they go because they haven't done it before. We want to be 500 the first year. The second year, we want to be in the conversation for the conference. And third year, we want to be, you know, trying to get to the playoffs. We're recruiting to a school that doesn't have a football stadium. Talking to all the kids that didn't get signed, to the kids that were left behind, to the kids that weren't sure they want to play. We'll talk this week, okay? There's not a single one of them that when they were growing up were wearing Texas Wesleyan t-shirts and saying, gosh, I can't wait to play football for Texas Wesleyan someday. Everyone was wearing UT stuff or TCU and they were hoping to be D1. So the fact that they're at Texas Wesleyan right now means something did not go the way they planned to. For a lot of those kids, they needed someone like Coach Joe to bring them back down to earth and say, all that didn't work out for you, but this is what you got and this is what we can make out of it. You got his offer letter? Yes, sir. Beware of the dog, no soliciting. And that's a Doberman. We're recruiting guys that can play now. And you get a chance to make history. Are y'all giving him an offer? Yes. He's got an offer from us, yes. The final choice is his, and if right. I see something wrong in the process, mm -hmm. I can say, Eric, I don't, I don't think you're going to fit there. All right, well, thank y'all for your time. Here's my card. That's my cell number. We found some really good ones. Uh, thank goodness for the surplus of football players in the Metroplex as well as San Antonio. Love to keep you home and help build something special. Something we can all be proud of. I think Coach has a little something for you over there. I don't know. We'd love to have you join us. We have a Rams and we do that. It's a uh, long horse uh, and then we just, we wrinkle it just okay. a little bit. Just like a Ram horn. Joe is the face of the program. He's been to dozens and dozens of events. 
He may not like doing that as much as he likes coaching football, but I think he's just as good at that. Joe Perdon, very nice to meet you. How are you? Several years ago, we bought a car from Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been there a bunch. I'm on the board of Reef. Oh, very good. Awesome. Thank you for being here. It takes a lot of work, but I have to be there. I mean, that's non negotiable. What is it officially called tonight? A uniform reveal gotcha. event. That one, that hand is loose. I'm wondering if we're going to need to use some tape or something to make it work. Yeah, you know what? You some glue. Man, I sure wouldn't be able to work at Dillard's. <laughs> I'm glad I can coach because I sure can't do this. I can't tell you how excited I am, how thrilled I am to be a part of this. The athletic director, Mr. Steve Tratcher, he did everything in his power to tell me to not take the job. He said it's gonna be hard work, hard stinking work was his quote. And he was right. We are making history and we're gonna do everything in our power to build something that everybody in this room is proud of. So how many points are we gonna win our first game by? <laughs> well, after I talk to the defensive coordinator, we'll figure out how many we gotta score first. Next thing I gotta do, man, I gotta get the gold jersey with the blue. So we got that gold look and the cap. I think it turned out good though. I'm happy with it. Do you like the Wesleyan flame looking through it? To see the coaching staff come together, get them all on board, all the recruiting we've had to do, all the planning we've had to do. You've been trying to build something this whole time. Now you get to finally fly it or you get to drive it and see what it looks like. We get two more linemen, we're gonna be pretty dang good. Hey, can I talk guys to I've been to talking to that, uh, that are like my age and mm -hmm. your age, and, yeah. and they they still got some eligibility. Well, wait, let's, let's get them. <laughs> let's get them then. That's, why not? It's hard to believe, going back to where that press conference was, what it's taken to get here. It's kind of overwhelming a little bit, but it's also very cool. And to know that it's all about to happen now. Hello, Frederick. I've been waiting on this day a long time. I'm ready to get to, to some football, and we saw so many pieces that we think if we can put them together, they can be a really good group. You're going to cry together, you're going to laugh together, you're going to sweat together, you're going to bleed together. What you build, you will never forget.